Preservatives and processed foods. Are they bad for you? What are they? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go through preservatives and processed foods and let you know if they're good or bad for you. Now, preservatives can actually be natural or they can be artificial. So when you talk about preservatives in food, you gotta understand what it's doing. It's preserving the food to make it last longer and to taste better for longer. But either way, preservatives are what are added to your foods. Now, processed foods can vary from lettuce from the ground that you pluck up to cleaning and bagging for sale. That's still a processed food. Or you take a potato and you add a bunch of stuff to it and you turn them into french fries. Either way, you can process something for good and you can process something for bad. But either way, it's still a processed food. So when people are talking about, you know, you should stay away from processed foods and preservatives, I would say that 99.9% .9 of what you're eating has gone through some type of processing or there's some type of preservatives that are added. Both can be really bad, but also both can be really good. Now, before I go on guys, hit the like button, make sure that you're subscribed and I wanna keep putting these videos out, but I need to know if you're interested by hitting the like button, do that right now. So have you ever been to your grandmother's house and you've enjoyed some of those delicious pickles? Well, guess what? Your grandmother added salt and vinegar as a preservative to make the pickles last with no refrigeration for a very long time. Now, would you say that's bad for you? Well, if you eat a whole jar, yes, the salt intake would probably put you way over and potentially lead to some problems down the line if you eat a jar a day for a month. But if you eat them in moderation, you have a couple pickles here, a couple pickles there, they're not that bad for you. But still, that's a preservative. Now when it comes to added preservatives, meaning the unnatural stuff that was made in a laboratory, benzoates and sorbates, on the other hand, are synthetic preservatives that were created in a laboratory. Now they work by inhibiting the growth of bacteria and other microorganisms in food. Benzoates are often used in acidic foods like soft drinks and fruit juices, while sorbates are commonly used in baked goods, cheese, and other dairy products. So when it comes to processed foods, unless you actually pickled the fruit, vegetable, or hunted your meat, it went through a form of processing. So what we want to avoid is the heavily processed foods that are meant to stay on the shelf for years to withstand a drought. Because if we were ever to have a food shortage, we wouldn't have enough time in the world to feed everybody if we did everything from scratch. So a lot of this preservative foods we actually need because what if something like that does happen? And that's one of the reasons why they made it. Now, if you eat a box of pizza pops that is heavily processed, then guess what? Yeah, that's probably bad for you. You have a bunch of sugars and bad fats that are added to what was once a grain, tomato, and some meat. So these, yes, are the foods that you want to refrain from, but it's not something that you necessarily have to completely eliminate. And honestly, your body finds a way to find balance. So if you want to create that balance, it's actually super simple. If you had a pizza pop, then have plain spinach with it. I mean, it's not as good as some French fries or another pizza pop, but at least you're going to have that bad food with a good food. Or have a plain chicken breast and then throw some french fries in the air fryer. You got your clean, healthy protein here, and then you got your unhealthy, saturated fats, but in the end, you're still creating balance. You'll be fine. So here's the thing about these processed and preservatives in the food that we're eating that are found at Costco in the big box, is that honestly, if they are on the shelves, especially at the big retail stores, they've actually been tested and approved by FDA. So in order to be approved for use in food, preservatives must go through an extensive testing to ensure their safety. This testing includes on both animal and on human studies, as well as evaluations of the potential risks and benefits of using the preservatives in food. So if a preservative is found in these foods, they're actually deemed safe for consumption. All right, so let's wrap this up, guys. Now you understand what processing means. Now you understand what preservatives means. You know what you're trying to avoid. And we ultimately want to create balance in your diet. So what am I gonna tell you? I'm gonna tell you one, make sure that you hit the like video before you go. Two is that you should start reading labels. Start looking for added sugar and added salt. 
And most importantly, if you can't read the ingredient, Google it at the very least. But if you can't find what it is, then maybe don't eat it. But again, the foods that are on these big retail shelves are deemed safe in moderate consumption. You can have one, you can't have it all.